Hello everybody, today I'm gonna to talk about the masks that actors must wear and how the prevailing definition of acting is actually quite the opposite of how I think about it. So stick around. Hello everybody, my name is Doug Fall and this is Augmented Actor where we help you augment your acting career with tips, tactics, and tech. Today we're looking at the masks that an actor wears. Now, the prevailing way people think about acting is that an actor is a human being and a human being has their own personality. And when they approach a character, especially a character that is not like themselves, they put on various masks to play that character. Some of those masks are as simple as makeup and costumes and hair. Others are personality traits or careers that a character is that's totally different than your career. Or maybe your character has dark traits, like maybe they're a murderer or a racist or a rapist. And you must then put on the mask of that character in order to portray them. And this way of thinking about acting has been around since the beginning of time. Uh, in, in fact, the theater symbol is a tragedy and a comedy mask. So masks are built into it and that's the way we think of it. We think of actors, the human being is the base character and they put on these masks to portray an illusion, to portray an imaginary circumstance to an audience. I like to think of it in the exact opposite. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, we human beings are complex creatures and every single individual out there is capable of pretty much everything that human nature exists. It's sort of that uni universal basic consciousness that we all share. We grow up in a certain society. We're in this, this modern world and we've each developed a personality based on our upbringing, our religion, our moral codes, our ethics, uh, and our personality traits. I think of all of that as as humans wearing masks. So we all live in this modern world. But imagine if you were born in another time, another place, under, under different circumstances, how different your personality would be. Imagine if you were born in the time of the pharaohs in Egypt, your whole life was building the pyramids and you were a slave to that. You imagine how your personality, your sense of moral codes would be completely skewed and different. Imagine if you grew up in extreme poverty and you didn't have a phone or YouTube to even see these videos, your life would be totally different. If you were a pioneer in America, trekking across the country in covered wagons, your life would be extremely different. Your standards, your morals, your beliefs, your religion, all of that would be completely different. And it's still you. You're still capable of experiencing all of that stuff. So when you play a character that is in a different time period or in a different frame of work, or even in the future, you can tap into that human experience, that shared universal knowledge, that, uh, that unconscious Jungian encyclopedic knowledge of human nature. It's in there, it's, it's within you. Every human being is capable of murder whether you want to think you are personally or not. Every person can physically kill somebody. And I dare say we've all killed a fly or a small animal, a rat in a trap at some point in our lives. And so we are essentially murderers. Every single person is capable of dominating somebody, of, of exerting power over somebody. Every single person out there is capable of being tortured, or driven to the brink of insanity. Every single person out there is capable of being homeless, capable of being parental, capable of being a sibling. Whether those circumstances will ever present themselves in your actual life is not the point. We human beings are wired to experience all those things if they happen to come into our lives. We can experience deep tragedy, we can experience profound anger at somebody else. And in society, we wear these masks all the time. When we go to work, we put on masks at our meetings so that we pretend 
We live in imaginary circumstances. We act, so to speak. We put on these masks and then we go home and we complain about our bosses and complain about our coworkers and we reveal all that stuff to ourselves or to our spouses or whatever that we don't reveal to those people. And even with those people closest to us, we get into arguments with our spouses or our significant others. We are masking what we're really feeling inside. We're conflating a minor incident into a full-blown argument because it really is deeply rooted in something else. So we're putting on a mask. So I like to think of acting as an opportunity for you to, to take off your personal masks. You take off pieces of your personality in order to allow yourself permission to express a character through you. I basically believe that every character that an actor plays has some element of them in, in there. You're the person portraying that character, so your personality, your way of speaking, your, your life experience is all going to come into play on how you interpret that character, right? Somebody else might do it totally different, but you will do you, right? So every character is gonna have that core of you. In order to play a character honestly, you have to be able to drum up that stuff that maybe you've never experienced, but that the character requires. And how do you do that? You remove your, your mask. You give yourself permission to take off your personality, take off your masks, take off the things that you hide behind, that you have built up around you to protect you. And then you become vulnerable, and then you become interesting to an audience, and then you can then live in that imaginary circumstances. Now some people might say that this sounds like method acting. And I have my opinions about method acting. I think it can be dangerous. I think it can be destructive for both you and for the people around you if you so fully live in a, in a negative character, a negative space, and demand that everybody else around you does that. I, I don't like that way. I'm more of the Uta Hagen theory where you, uh, you find substitutions for uh, expressing those things. If you've never murdered somebody, for instance, and you're playing a murderer, you find the next best thing. When have you done somebody really wrong? When have you hurt somebody? When have you killed an animal? Uh, when have you lost somebody uh, in a death? You find those substitutions and then you use those emotions to play that character. So when you're an actor, you have to have control over the mask. You take that mask off, but you have learned the skills to put that mask back on when the camera's done rolling or when you walk off the stage. You adapt back to your human personality. On stage, you must develop the skill to take that mask off to be vulnerable and, uh, and produce that effect give from within to create that character, but you must do it in a way that is controllable, that does not do you harm physically or emotionally, and doesn't do any of the other actors or crew or anybody else any physical or emotional harm as well. Now it can be argued that a character is actually a human being, and so they're going to be wearing their masks, uh, and so are you really uh, taking a mask off to play them? Well, you, you, you're taking masks off and you're putting masks on. You must understand what masks the character is hiding behind, what things that they don't say, what things that they don't express, and you have to find what masks they are wearing, what masks they have built up with their personality and their experiences. But you also have to take off your own human masks in order to effectively play them. So when you take beginning acting classes, a lot of that first year of acting is about discovering yourself, discovering what masks you wear, what your quirks are, what your tells and your habits, bad habits are, and learning how to strip them down and get control over them so that you can build them back up and play a character. You also observe human nature. You observe yourself, you observe other people, you learn how to breathe, you learn how to walk differently, you, you try physical exercises, you try improv exercises, and all of that is meant to help you discover the masks that you wear and that the masks that other people wear and how to take those on and off with ease. <gasps> think about that. I don't think it's necessarily you have to believe this forever or, or fully, but if you think about that as uh, acting is an opportunity for you to explore the things inside of you that you normally don't let out and therefore 
The comedy and tragedy masks are the things that are being taken off when you enter the stage so that you can give a solid performance to an audience. If you enjoy my videos here on Augmented Actor and you find some of this information useful, I invite you to pop on over to my Patreon page where you can get extended videos, behind the scenes videos, outtake reels, and early release videos, and all kinds of things that uh, are benefits for being a patron. So if that's something that interests you, I invite you to pop on over to Patreon. Now, if this kind of video about um, exploring these sort of esoteric concepts about acting appeals to you, I have some more videos that are kind of in that in that same realm and I invite you to watch some of those and as always I encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that like button because every time you do it really helps me come back so thank you for joining me today we'll see you again soon bye